We're on page 14 of Algebra 1B Credit 1. We're taking a look at question number 2. And we're trying to find the common ratio for this geometric sequence and use it to find the next three terms. So we have, what is it, four terms here. We have 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the first step is to just identify the four terms just like we did. So the first one right here is 972 and I get it from right there right just in case you didn't know term 2 is 324 term 3 is 108 and term 4 is 36 and to find the ratio again uh, we're gonna take two consecutive terms in this case we're gonna take the first two and so we're gonna divide the second term 324 by the first term 972 and so let me see pull up the calculator here uh, let me see 324 divided by 972 gives me what 0.3 repeated okay so in this case r is going to be 0.3 repeating uh, and you can also use the fraction one third which is the same thing uh, and in fact one third would probably be more accurate um, but let's just go with 0.3 for now and so uh, what we're going to do next to find the fifth since we're given fourth four terms to find the fifth term we're going to multiply the fourth term by that common ratio which was 0.3 um, and so let's see what was the fourth term the fourth term was 36 times 0.3 or 0 0.3 that is I should be a little bit more exact there. Um, and then 36 times 0 0.3 um, gives me 12, right? It, it actually, if you, if you use the decimal 0.3, you actually get something like 11 point something, something, something. But um, if you do 36 times 1 third, you should get 12, okay? Uh, which is the more exact number, by the way, if we use the fraction 1 third. So let's keep going. And in fact, I'm going to keep on using the fraction one third just because I want to be as accurate as possible. And let's see, the fifth term that we just got was 12. 12 times one third is going to be four. And then continuing on, the fourth term times one third gives me four thirds or one and one thirds. Or if you want to use a decimal, 1.3 repeating. Okay, so the common ratio is one third or 0 0.3 repeating. The next three terms are right here, 12, 4, and 4 thirds. 12, 4, and 4 thirds. Question number three. We're gonna do the same thing, except we don't have this nice scaffolding here. So you can go ahead and use, um, or copy over the scaffolding if you want. So let's take a look here. Uh, we're gonna identify the, the first three terms. This first second and third term so the first term or f of one was one f of two the second term was 0 0.5 and f of three the third term is 0 0.25 and so what we're going to do is take the f um, in order to find um, the fourth term we don't know what the fourth term is right we don't know what that is yet so in order to find the fourth term what we're going to do is we're going to take the term before it, which is f of 3 times the common ratio, right? Which we haven't done yet. Let's find r. r equals, um, let's use the first two terms, so it's going to be the second term, which is 0 0.5 divided by 1, which gives us 0 0.5 or 1 half. So the ratio is 1 half, okay? So let's see, f of 3 was uh, 0 0.25 times one half um, or 0 0.25 times 0 0.5 and that should give you 0 0.125 let's, let's deal with the decimals so that was f of 4 and then f of 5 is going to be f of 4 times the common ratio which is 0 0.5 and that is what 0 0.125 times 0 0.5 which gives me uh, 0 0.0625 
and then f of uh, 6 is going to be f of 5 times the common ratio and let's see 0 0.5 was 0 0.0625 times 0 0.5 so I get 0 0.312 or oh, sorry I should back that up a little bit 0 0.03125 so the sixth term is 0 0.03125 okay question number four let's continue to do the same this is the first second and third term so let's find the ratio first which is going to be the any two consecutive terms so I'm going to take terms one and two and divide the second term which is 18 by 12 and as a decimal let me see what what should you get um, 18 divided by 12 18 divided by 12 you should get one and a half as the common ratio so we're given three terms we want to find the fourth term and that's going to be the third term which is 20 oh, 27 not 37 27 times the common ratio and you should get 40.5 to be the fourth term and notice I'm, I'm kind of um, simplifying the steps here but if you want to continue on using these steps feel free to do that f of 5 is going to be f of 4 times 1.5 we found f of 4 was 40.5 so we're going to multiply that by 1.5 to get 60.75 and then f of 6 is going to be f of 5 times 1.5 which is uh, 60 point, 60 point 75 times 1.5 which gives me 91.125 that's f of 6 which is what we want 91.125 okay um, and then let's jump over to I think page um, 16 now, you can go ahead and read this uh, explain to section, which will help you with page 16. And you can go ahead and use Desmos as well, uh, as you have probably in previous credits. So, if we're moving along here uh, with a context, uh, a ball is dropped from 500 meters. The table shows the height of each subsequent bounce. So, the first bounce, bounce number one, you're it, it jumps up 200 meters. The second bounce, you are a little bit lower. Not a little bit lower, a lot lower at 80. Third bounce is at 32. So let's go ahead and identify the sequences. What we're trying to find, by the way, is the fourth bounce. What do we want to, how do we know what that is? And, and our knowledge of geometric sequences will help us with that. So F of one, or the first bounce, is 200. 200. F of two is going to be 80 f of 3 is going to be 32 and f of 4 we don't know yet but let's find the common ratio we're going to take any two consecutive um, numbers so it's going to be these two right here 280 so we're going to divide the second term which is 80 by the first term 200 to find the common ratio and when we do that what is that 4 ooh, 4 over 10 2 over Two or five, two fifths. Two or five is going to be the common ratio there. And so, to find the fourth term, we're going to take f of three. Uh, f, so, oh, sorry, let me back that up a little bit. In order to find f of four, we're going to take f of three times the common ratio in this case, which is two and two or five. F of three was thirty-two, and we get that from right there times 2 over 5 and if you multiply that out you should get what is the 64 over 5 which has a decimal comes out to um, let's say 12.8 so um, the fourth term right uh, is going to be 12 oh they want the common ratio common ratio is 2 over 5 and then the ball bounces about this many meters 
12.8 meters on the fourth bounce is our answer.